What's up guys, Danny Lightning back with another video. This one's going to go on my EQ class for voiceover playlist and we're going to work on fixing sibilance with an EQ today. Just in case you didn't know, sibilance are those harsh S sounds like when you say the word sibilance or a T or a CH. And I don't really have a big sibilance problem with my voice, but some people do. But today we're going to show you how to fix that. Most of the sibilance is going to lie between around 4,000 and 15,000. That's kind of where it might be. So if you watch on here when I go and you're going to see it's really spiking up when I see those S's right in this area. So between 4,000 and 15,000 is generally where most of the sibilance is going to lie. I'm actually going to show you three different ways to fix this. Two will be on an EQ. The first option is not ideal. It is not the way that I would do it. But if you have to in a pinch, this is something you can do. Option two and three are going to be excellent options and way better than option number one. But let's get to it. So what you're going to want to do is take your EQ and you're going to bring this down here and kind of just adjust the band. You want to go by about six decibels. Now the problem with this is you're probably losing some of the high end from your recording. So this isn't really the best way to do it. Now back in the day, people would just find the spot with the S on the recording and just do this for the spot with the S. I mean, that was hours worth of work to DS something that way. They would make a cut where every little S sound was and just cut out the S sound and then add an EQ to each S and drop it down. But a lot of EQs today will allow you to add a dynamic band, which is really, really, really good. And this is almost as good as running a real DSer. So let me show you guys how to do this if you have an EQ with a dynamic band. You can actually make a dynamic band drop that down by about six decibels, adjust the width right there, and then every time there's a t or a ch or a s, it's going to reduce that by the amount of decibels you want. And what this is, it's really just a compressor that's compressing that specific frequency that you choose. So every time that frequency goes over a certain threshold, it just smashes it down and gets rid of those harsh S sounds so they don't sound so fatiguing or shrill. And it's only going to kick in when you say those s, 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 s sounds or something like that. Now, to find the worst of it on this particular EQ, I can just click these little headphones and I can start going s, 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 and move this back and forth and find the worst of it. So let's go ahead and do that right now just to demonstrate. It's going to sound really nasty and high pitched for a second. S, 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 s. So basically I just find where that sounds the harshest and that's where I'm going to leave it. And then I can move this EQ band to as wide as I need it or as narrow as I need it to get rid of most of the harsh S sounds. Let's go ahead and demonstrate this really quick. Silly cell seashells, silly cell seashells. Now we'll turn it on. Silly cell seashells, silly cell seashells. Turn it off. Silly cell seashells, silly cell seashells. Turn it on. Silly cell seashells, silly cell seashells. And those S sounds should not sound as harsh after we have this turned on. Now running an actual DSer here like Way of Siblings, this would be a really, really good option. You got the FabFilter Pro DS, you got the Techovations TDS or Pro. I think they got a free version of that, which works pretty darn good. Siblings seems to be my favorite out of all the DSers. So Silly Cell Seashells, Silly Cell Seashells, turn it off. Silly Cell Seashells, Silly Cell Seashells. And this is designed to actually know the difference between the harsh S sounds and the rest of your human voice. So it's not cutting out as much of the high end as even a dynamic EQ band will. So something like this is definitely going to be your best bet. I would definitely go with a DSer plugin if you can over a, a DSer on the EQ. All right, so that's how you find and fix siblings with an EQ. I really don't recommend doing it with the regular EQ, but if you have an EQ that allows you to make a dynamic band, that is almost as good as running an actual DSer. I feel like a real DSer is just a little bit better, but Wave Sibilance or the FabFilter Pro DS, those are both really, really good. Or even that Free Tech Evasions DSer is really, really nice. A couple of weeks ago, I made a DSer shootout video. So we compared a bunch of DSers together to find out which ones were the best. So you might even want to go check that out if you're looking for a DSer plugin. I mean, there's a lot of DSers out there. I don't have all of them. I just use some of my favorite ones that I think were the best out of all the ones that I've tried on the video. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you drop down the video's description, you'll see some links to where you can get some great plugins like Wave Siblings or a bunch of uh, cool items on Amazon or something like that. So hit the like, hit the subscribe, drop down the video's description, check that stuff out. And thank you so much for watching. Lightning out. See ya.